All right, in this video, we are going to go through the process of installing FFmpeg, which has become infinitely easier now with the introduction of Chocolatey. Uh, and then we're going to go through the process of extracting some really useful information from a video. So the first step is going to be go, to go to chocolatey.org forward slash install. And once you're there, if you scroll down a little bit under step two, you will see uh, install Chocolatey for individual use. And here, there's some code. If you click this little button here, you will copy that code. Now we're going to go into PowerShell. So in the start menu, just type in PowerShell and then right click to run as an administrator, which you will need to do. Uh, now with that code copied, if you just hit control V, it'll set it there. And if you hit enter, it'll start uh, the installation process. So that will take just a couple uh, seconds, probably 30 seconds or so. And once it's done, if you just type in Chaco, then you should get a response like this. And that will help you to determine whether or not that installed uh, properly. So now we are going to install FFmpeg via Chocolatey. So here we're just going to type in Chaco, then install FFmpeg, and we are going to install the full version. And that is all that is necessary at this point. We're gonna hit enter and it'll run through the process. So here we are gonna type A to accept all, and that will finish up. So now we are good. If we type in FFmpeg, we should get a response that looks like this, that indicates that FFmpeg is now installed on this machine. So now the next step is going to be to use this program to analyze a video. So I have a folder here, FFmpeg, and within it, I have a text file, and then I have a dash cam video from a Tesla. So we're gonna open up this text file just to take a peek at what's inside of it. Ultimately, we're gonna turn this into a batch file so that we can use it to, to run the analysis. But in here, you can see that it's referencing the install location of FFmpeg, FFplay, FF, FF Probe. And then there's some code down here that's asking FF Probe to analyze the video and spit out a bunch of very uh, useful information into a CSV. So the only thing, if you installed FFmpeg like we just did, then these addresses should work just fine. However, if you installed using a different methodology, you'll just have to figure out where you have it installed and uh, replace these addresses with uh, that installation address. And one way that you can do that, if you go into the command prompt, right click run as administrator, and then just type in where FFmpeg. So here you can see that this is where it's installed. So now we're good with that. Um, we're gonna turn this into a BAT file and that will make it a functional file. So turn the .txt into .bat and then hit enter and accept that. So again, this is a dash cam from a Tesla. We're gonna just drag that and drop it into here. You'll see FF Play will be playing the video. Uh, this is stationary for a second here, but you can see now it's working. And I'm gonna uh, close out of this and then it will finish uh, the process. So now we see here we have uh, debug.txt that talks about the process a bit. And then we are gonna get what we're really after, which is the CSV file. So this is what you're gonna get in the CSV file. You're gonna get the media type, uh, whether or not it's a keyframe, the uh, packet uh, duration, you're gonna get the best effort uh, timestamp, the uh, width and height of the image or the frame, whether or not it's a intra frame or a predicted, uh, there's other types available as well. Uh, very useful information, especially for us in the forensic world when we're trying to determine uh, frame timing for video analysis of uh, any sort, especially like uh, vehicle speed determination. So if you want more information on what each one of these columns means, you can head to ffmpeg.org and go to uh, the documentation section. Here's the web address for that. And in here, you can just search for any one of those column titles, and there will be a description of what that is giving you. So uh, hopefully you found that helpful and you can implement that in your analyses.